last. Show. All right, so what's up? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna factor this trinomial that has a negative a. So here we go, like a boost. All right, so first of all, what's the problem with trying to factor this trinomial? It has a negative. It's got a negative coefficient at the front. It's got a negative a right here, which makes me super sad. So I got to make sure that I get rid of that. So we. No, we don't subtract it. What do we do? What do we do? You take, you take out the negatives. Yeah. Okay. It's negative. So we extract the negative. All right. And so this becomes what? 3x squared plus x minus 2. Minus 2. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our uh, x factor. And what do we get up top? We get a negative 6. What do we get down below? We get one, good, because the coefficient here is one. So that's awesome. All right, and I try to think of two things that multiply to make negative six, but add to make one. Three, negative two. So I uh, hear a three and a two. One of those was negative. One of those is positive. Two. All right, so I have a negative two and a positive three. Okay. So, and what else can I do for this problem? Divide by five by three. Right, because I got a coefficient here, and I can see that it can go in that right there. I cancel that out, and that becomes. One. one, so then I end up with 3x, here we have x, so I have 3x minus 2 is correct, and plus 1, and that's how we have just solved for that. Oh, and the negative on the outside, thank you so much, very good, nameless student, very good job. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's try another one. All right. You're going to get yes, Dimitri. All right, so here we go. Um, <laughs> solve it, quiet down. Here we go. Uh, if I have negative 12, you're copying this down. Negative 12, x squared minus 5x, all right, uh, plus 3. Let's go with that, all right? And to make this even more exciting, uh, we're going to end up saying equals 0. <laughs> Okay, so how would we start this problem out? How do we say yes? Extract the negative. Thank you, Susan. So I extract out my negative, and what do I get now? Minus three. I'm going to put an x there in my bed. All right, so now that I have that, how do I go ahead and solve for this? I do what? Thank you, Eleanor. And then, uh, so what do I get up top? Negative 36. On the bottom I get, I get this 5. That's right. Okay, so I'm trying to think of two numbers and multiply to make negative 36, but add to make 5. Nine and, 9 and negative 4. So, all right, 9 and negative 4. Very good. Okay, and so they would add to make 9, and they do multiply to make 30, negative 36. So, can I break 12 apart into factors to divide in both 9 and 4? Three and four. Let's do this. Okay. Oh. So the three goes into another nine and gives me what? Three. It gives me three. Okay. So I can get a three x over here. I know the other one's going to be a four x. Um, and can um, can four go into negative four? Yeah. Yes. And gives me what? Negative one. Negative one. That is right, Bartholomew. So how do I set these up? How do I set these up? How do I fill these in? Plus three, very good. And then do I have a negative out here? Yes. yes. Uh, negative out there, if you can see it. And then equals zero. So if that equals zero, then what do I end up with over here? How do I, uh, remember, it's three x minus one equals zero, and four x plus three will equal zero. So x equals, what was the one up here? One third, positive one third. And the other one is gonna be? Oh, negative three fourths. All right, very nice stuff. Okay, do you guys feel good about life? Yes. yes. Right on. Okay, you can now take over the world. Good stuff. I gave you permission. I gave you permission. Take All right. Uh, say bye, nameless students. Bye. Awesome. Thank you.